With the sculptural 2023 Archer Supercar, McLaren embraces a hybridized future of high performance. The new mid-engine two-seater is built on a revolutionary lightweight base. It also combines a twin-turbo V6, a first for the brand, with a battery electric engine to create a plug-in hybrid vehicle, another first. The pair produces 671 horsepower and 531 pound-feet of torque. Performance estimates include a 2.6 second 0 to 60 miles per hour time and a top speed of 205 miles per hour. The bodywork is classic McLaren, with prominent air vents and scissor-style doors. The 2023 Archer boasts various convenience and driver assistance technology, as well as a more luxurious and roomy cabin than the 720S. When the car starts, it defaults to all-electric mode, but a drive mode rocker switch positioned within a finger's reach of the steering wheel may fire up the engine with a single click. There are four settings to choose from, E-Mode, Comfort, Sport, and Track. Comfort mode operates similarly to a classic hybrid, drawing energy at low speeds or at stoplights and firing up the engine when needed. Sport and track modes employ the electric motor to promote performance rather than efficiency, burning more energy at lower speeds to boost torque and throttle responsiveness. The suspension has three basic settings that correspond to each drive mode, but it is adaptive and constantly adjusts on the fly. McLaren is employing a new rear suspension design that the company claims improves stability and reduces understeer. Stability and traction control are also adjustable. McLaren refers to traction control as variable drift control. Rather of being toggled on and off, traction control may be reduced slowly to allow for some rear-out shenanigans if desired. The Archer is electromechanical locking differential aids traction. When compared to a mechanical differential, using an e-diff reduces weight and enables for exact control over how much torque is supplied to each rear tire. The Archer is powered by a brand new McLaren engine a twin turbocharged 3.0-liter V6, the company's first six-cylinder engine. The cylinders are positioned at a wider 120-degree angle than the 90-degree angle utilized on the automaker's V8. I admired the Archer's quick acceleration, but we'd love it to bring us to 60 miles per hour in 2.6 seconds with a bit more drum. The car is fast, but it can also be rather covert, and it lacks the oral satisfaction that competing sports cars provide. The Archer is also the first McLaren to use the company's new carbon lightweight architecture, which is believed to be lighter than the structure of its predecessor. The handling is razor sharp and a thrill to throw around a racetrack, but it also has a gentler side for commuting or highway cruising. When we have the opportunity, we will take the Archer to our test track and report on its performance. The engine employs a hot V configuration in which the turbochargers and exhaust manifold are located above the engine between the cylinder banks rather than at the bottom. It's a popular setup for high-performance vehicles these days because the shorter distance between the turbo and the engine allows the former to build boost more quickly. It aids in reducing turbo lag and improving throttle responsiveness. The electric motor installed in the bell housing of the 8-speed gearbox is the true story here, not the new V6 engine. It's only a few inches thick and light enough to be picked up with one hand, but it helps boost the Archer's total output to 671 horsepower and 531 pound-feet of torque. Up from 577 horsepower and 431 pound-feet of torque from the gasoline engine alone, 